Oh, I got their hat. All right, go down this way, drop down this way. I have to go back and finish exploring that corner. Run this way as fast as we can. Avoid getting wrecked. If we can. No. Ow. <laughs> Got you. So does that mean this guy is not hostile? Like if he if he sees me, is he not going to attack me? Is he just gonna be chilling? Ah, he's friendly! I do like making friends. I thought I saw an item on a body, which is why I came back here. Don't want to accidentally hit my friend or fall off here. No! Okay, well, I guess I'm finding my way down there now to retrieve that. How do I leave? without entering the cage and without uh, pancaking. Because that's a far drop. I'd rather not try and make that drop and not get wrecked. So where do I go? Okay, I can drop off here. This takes me back to that dead end. Nope, there I go dropping off of nothing. Being bullied. Stop it. These guys are obnoxious. How did you hit me on the side? Okay. Whatever. This is the guy that had the big sword. I feel like it's going to take me forever to get that item, to get to that item. Try below. That's a lot of explosives and bombs. Maybe that they're actually being helpful by telling me to go down there. I see another crystal lizard. All right, I guess we'll try dr jumping on this guy. Ah, oh, come on. I'm out of Estes, man. What's in here? Oh, another bonfire. That is, that is nice. Still don't know how I'm going to get that one item, though. Because I need to get over there. I need to get over there. But I see a bunch of dudes carrying uh, big 
jug, big jug bowls. Oh, there's a lot of blood stains over there. Okay, that's the other. Over there is the other bonfire that I had unlocked. There's a lot to this. There's a lot to this, uh, this area. Ah, oh, great. Another big lady. My favorite. this hello Aha, unkindled, are we? how could you tell welcome to my abode it looks roomy I am Cornix an old pyromancer ah uh, you sell pyromancies I guess his cage as you see now but here we are an encounter for the ages <laughs> I hear the unkindled make for fine vessels Care to learn some pyromancies from this old man? Sure. Most Probably not going to use them. A chart to reiterate, I am Cornix of the Great Swamp. The pleasure is mine. <laughs> I am my best friend. Okay, bye, Cornix. If you could have left at any time, I don't know why you didn't. It seems like a lot of people are capable of just teleporting willy nilly, but they sit in cages anyway. Is that just. How you entertain yourself? The bowl guys are scary. They got big muscles. I need stamina. Okay, bull guy's dead. Okay, I should be able to explore this courtyard safely now. Alright, you look like you were having a great time. Oh, that guy's just chilling out at the end there. How's it going, bud? You doing okay? Do you need a hug? Fire clutch ring. Down, it says. Mmm. Hmm. Something tells me that is a is a lie. <laughs> Something tells me I'm not actually dropping down there. What is this new ring I got though? Increases fire attack, but compromises damage absorption. What does that even mean? I mean, I'm not even doing fire attack. Alright, well, if up ahead I have to deal with another big lady, like, I, I don't have the confidence to do that. Like, I don't have the, the health to do that. But if I could, if I want to, I could just book it towards that item that I had chopped down. Be wary of ambush. Oh, through the door? Oh no! I was looking the exact opposite way. Right, let's get away from the cliff. I was ready for the ambush the other way. I wonder how much I'd be missing if I didn't, if I wasn't stopping and reading the marks. Is 
So I'm actually just considering just dropping here and running for the item with the health I have, and then if I die, I die, it's fine. I can actually fight my way here with full Estus. But as it stands right now, cannot. I have a bonfire that's not far. So I'm just gonna make a run for it. I'll deal with this guy first. Oh, he can throw it. <laughs> There's the item I'm, I'm after. Fire Stampede Ring. I really wish they could hurt each other. All right, we're going to we're going to just preemptively leave and see if I can make it back to the bonfire. Of course, I dropped down uh, one way to get here. Rats. Jeez, these guys just want me. Please tell me the lady is away. She is, kind of. I think I can go up and around this way. Is there actually a way for me to get back up to the to the bonfire without? Because I need to get up there. Right, I dropped off the roof. Is there any way up to these roofs? Because if I drop here, I don't think I don't think I can make that that fall. I need to get to the basement of this building here. Can I make this? Cool, we did it. All right, let's have a seat. We got the item I was worried about getting. So now I have two paths that I can really search. This way where there's a lot of uh, blood stains over there. I guess there's three. There's this that way with all the blood stains. There's this way. Actually, I guess four, because there's over that way. There's over that way where the lady is. And then there's the sewer as well. None of them are <clears throat> great options. Like, none of them make me happy, but I, th I think I'm leaning towards the sewer first. We'll go clear the sewer and then see where that ends up leading, because I, I have a hunch that the sewer is going to end up leading to... Um, leading to the other bonfire. So let's find out. Oh shit, a rat. Cast this. Yeah, if I wanted to start punching the crap out of everything. Okay, there's a locked gate. Fatty. Oh, no.
Oh, there is a huge rat in there. I can see it. Got him. Blood bite ring. What does that one do? Increases increases bleed resistance. Well, that should be useful because there are a few enemies here that have been trying to make me bleed. Okay, this leads exactly where I was thinking it would. So that is the other bonfire that I had uh, cleared. I guess we'll go check out that direction. What's up, buddy? You're not friendly like the other ones, are you? I like to say ones as if there's been more than one guy who did not immediately try and kill me here. Got a little bit of anger issues. I shouldn't have gone for that extra hit there. See you. I always wait to see if they end up dropping something. What do you say? Hidden path ahead. I don't... I don't believe you. <laughs> Anything that's trying to tell me to jump into that gorge, I'm just assuming is somebody trying to kill me. Imagine playing this game, but like the yes man challenge, you have to do whatever, <laughs> whatever the hints tell you to do at least once. All right, so there's a shitload of blood stains in this area. Why? That's why the archer. I look forward to my death. I'm just going to assume that if I don't move, he's going to hit me. Ow. Even though I moved, I got hit. No! I'm trying to kill this guy before he gets me. Jesus. This is not what I was anticipating. <laughs> ah, even with a dodge, like this is just a timer, basically. <laughs> Do not fall off, man. stupid <laughs> why is there just a gap there man i was distracted by the flying spears trying to take me out all right we are going to warp to the i, th I guess the dilapidated bridge is the the one i was at you again. Ah, he had rubbish for me. Alright, so most important is retrieving my souls. Alright, got those. Is there a way here or do I have to make the jump? 
I jumped too soon! I can see why there's so many blood saints. It's because everybody is failing this jump. <laughs> Heck, man. Once again, priority is to get the souls, then I'll try and figure out how to make that jump without getting wrecked. Okay, souls are in an easier spot this time. Alright. Undead Bone Shard. I flawless. All right, take those guys out. I'm going to go deal with the red eye guy. Okay. <laughs> it's all chaos, but it's currently controlled chaos. We got this. We're it's all under control. Oh, that's this guy's still alive too. I was kind of anticipating that the the archer would have uh, cleared the way out there as opposed to just constantly hammering at me. No, you're done? You're done now? Okay. I don't know how to get that item over there. That's a whole lot of items and an ambush. Crap. Heal, heal, heal. Oh, it's a sword ambusher. <laughs> Every time I get up, I only have a, like a second to react. Okay. Where's the next one? I was, I was waiting for the mortician's ashes. What even is that? The key item? Yes, it is. Shrine handmade will prepare new items. Oh. Well, that seems valuable. Okay, how do I get that item there is my question. Nope, oh, going inside. <laughs> I heard the shot. Can I make this jump maybe? Oh, I can make this jump from inside. Great scythe. Now, I've never used a scythe. Is it a dexterity weapon? It scales better with dexterity. That's sad. The idea of me running around with a scythe seems like fun, but I'm trying to go for a strength build. Running. Illusory wall? No? Okay. Flowers. Oh, isn't this a lovely place? I'm sure the flowers are helpful and healthy. Not murderous. Oh. Good luck. Oh, boy. Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. Is this going to lead where the big lady was walking up and down the stairs? It is. Okay, so I've just connected a couple of different routes. This just straight up looks like a boss. Oh yeah, the, the tree, that <laughs> curse ridden tree ahead. <laughs> All right, so that's a tree for a boss over there. Uh, I guess we had one other path to check and that was this way, but we have to deal with the, uh, the evil lady. Hey there, I hope you're enjoying the videos of the Dark Souls 3 adventure with me and my best friend. I'd love to hear what you all think, so please leave a like or a comment and consider subscribing to follow my journey to beat as many games as I can. Thank you for taking the time to watch, and I'll see you in the next one.